Hello, hello. Welcome to the stream. Happy Friday, everybody. Thank you for coming to the stream. I'm Shane, and I'm from JR Art Lab. Uh, thank you for joining us. If you, are the f if you are the first time viewer of the stream, we are doing what we call Sketch Club. Uh, every Friday at 8 o'clock, we pick a new subject matter, and we sketch it. Um, so today, as you can see um, from the the stream, today's topic is Shiba. Okay, now I have a pet called Norbu, and I have another one called Aria. Well, a pet sounds a bit, I don't know, they're, you know, dogs are more than pets, right? They're like our best buddies. So uh, I would say that... Um, I would say that they're they're very special to us. And Norbu has been a little bit sick this week. Um, well, he's getting old, so a little bit sick can be quite a lot dangerous. Um, so it occurred to me that it was time to Im to memorialize his beauty. Memorialize? No, that's not the right word. I don't want to say that. He's getting better. I think he's getting better, which is really really good. Um, so we're really happy about that. So send all your prayers and blessings and energy out there for Puppy Norbu. You're going to see a picture of him today. Um, so I thought we would choose pets. Now you might not have a dog or you might have a cat. So if you would like to draw your cat or your dog, this is a good opportunity to... <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. This is a good opportunity for you to sketch your pet. Might be a hamster, might be a chipmunk. Um, <clears throat> oh my goodness. Doritos. Mmm, Doritos, so good. Uh, maybe if I had to pick one favorite food in the world, it would be Doritos. I do not know what they put in that sprinkly stuff, but 
when you switch brands, it's not as good. Now we actually have these Dorito corn chips in Australia called CCs. CCs are also amazing, but I've never seen them anywhere else. I don't even know if they still exist. Somebody, if you know in the chat, if there's any Australian people watching out there, let me know, does CC still exist in Australia? The similar package, yellow package, oh my goodness. Okay, anyway, so I'm from Junior JR Art Lab and we are a digital art studio. Uh, we do education for all kinds of digital arts. We do live teaching one-to-one -one or one-to-a-group. Um, live through uh, different channels, depending on where you are. Um, and we share our screen, you share your screen, and that's kind of how our, our studio works. Uh, and we teach everything, including, well, we teach a lot of things, not everything. I don't teach you how to bake pancakes. But uh, I do uh, 3D, both box modeling and sculpting. We do graphic design, photography, uh, script writing, digital painting and drawing, podcasting, video editing, anything that's creative in the digital space, that's what we do. Now, our goal is to help people learn these digital skills, no matter what age you are, um, so that we can transform the, uh, the view that people sometimes hold, which is technology or devices in general or computers and things maybe they're not the best thing to be playing with but it depends on how you use it right they're a tool for creativity you can be a consumer or you can be a creator so we help you we help encourage the creator space um, so that's our goal here um, now do let me know in the chat if you can't hear me or the music's a little bit too loud please let me know um, now uh, we're streaming live on YouTube uh, Twitch and uh, Facebook Live. Um, now, if you want to join the chat, uh, you can jump onto Twitch and then you can chat with people and myself. Um, and I believe somebody shared to me that we actually can do the live chat with uh, multi-stream, but I don't think it works for me. I have a multi-screen panel, but it just doesn't come up. But I think I have to do like a little a little work around. So I'm going to try and work that out so we can have YouTube people when they want to chat, we can have a live chat as well. All right. So today we are going to be sketching Shiba Inus or you can sketch your pet. Now I do share you the link to my uh, concept board. Um, can view, can view, copy link. So I will put this into the chat on Twitch. Uh, if you would like to go and get this concept board, um, I won't go into the details. If you've been here before, you know we use... Oh, I just put an extra zero on the end. I better check that that works, hey? Clicking on the mural. We're using a software called Mural, but it, you can use any kind of uh, image collection whiteboard or uh, there's a bunch of them that are pretty cool. But Mural is pretty good. We're not sponsored or anything, but... Um, Yes, it's there and it's coming up. Okay, so if you if you would like to look at our references, we have a whole bunch. And we have extra photos today because I got some uh, Shibas from the internet as well as things I want to focus on. My dog, I wanted to get maybe a little bit of a concept from the original, from like another painting. And then um, after I get the concept for maybe some colors, maybe some background stuff from another painting i'm going to mix that with my dog maybe a couple of paintings and we'll see how we go so we might only get one sketch done today sometimes we get three sometimes we get two um, but we'll see how we go i might like to try uh if we get time one aria and one norbu now i have a girl dog she's pretty special too aria is our lady i think she was on the stream a couple of weeks ago i wouldn't be surprised if she pops her head in today after we get a little bit into it um if she does, I will pick her up and you can have a look. She is adorable and she's super soft and fluffy. Um, so, uh, let's get over to my other screen and have a look at the references that I've collected for this week. Um, now, if you want to suggest a stream idea, you can. You can email us. My email will be in the next screen. You can also contact us on Facebook, Instagram, uh, YouTube, anywhere that you would like to suggest a topic, you can. All right, let's go over to my computer screen. And here we are. Okay, 
So here is, uh, on the right side, generally over here is what I've got for our references. So the most of these, look at these chubby little Sheba buns. Look at his head. It's like a, a steamed pork bun stuck on the top of a loaf of bread. Okay, so look at that one. Oh, so cute. Okay, um, so I've got a bunch here. Let's have a little look through here for some inspiration. Great pose here. Looks very regal. I like the color work in this one, and the fur looks really nice. Um, now, I was Googling my dog's name, and it's really funny. We might tell you that story. Uh, Shebas aren't the easiest pets to look after, just out if you if you would like to know. Um, that one's pretty funny. That is a face that they do, this very judging the hell out of you kind of face, which is pretty funny. Um, that one there that just I managed to turn sideways. Okay. They're also a little bit grumpy and aggressive sometimes. That one's beautiful. The color in that one and the fluffiness. I really like that one. So let's start off with this one down here. Okay. Now, I'm probably not going to go with a cartoon. I, I like this one, too. I'm not sure why it reminds me of Nobu. Um, yeah, I was Googling my, my Nobu. I like this one for the planes. I think that could be a really interesting addition. So let's put that down here. So the way this works, if you're new, is um, we pick a bunch of references. We refine our references. That one's very sweet. That actually, I think I have a photo that looks just like that. So let's put that down there. Okay, I like this pose. This one's cute. Look at this baby one with all the color. I like this fur too. That's, oh, I feel like that might be a, yes, I think that is. That is a photo that has been put through one of those apps or filters. I also like this little guy in space. Look at that nice fur. I like the texture in there. This one's very special. I've looked I've looked at this one a few times and gone, oh wow, I've got to paint that one. Okay, so we'll put these ones down here. We're gonna have too many down there already. This one's really well rendered. I feel like it might be AI though. Everything's very smooth. Um, that one's cute. Good face, they all do that face. And that Astro Boy ears. I call them Astro Boy ears. They have one that stays up and one that stays down. All right, how's the volume there? Anybody got any complaints? Is it okay? I hope it's okay. The music's in the background. Okay, so now we're going to move over to my guy. This is Nobu. This is Nobu in the river. And this is Nobu in the snow. This is top-down Nobu in a flower, a field of flowers. And this is Aria. Look at that one. That's kind of like the one we had as the reference. So I'm going to put that one down there. I think that one could be a good one. So I'm going to separate that one. Okay. This is his this is his general face. Look at that one's very nice. That's at the Toronto Beach area. That one's his general face. Now he does have a bit of a crazy eye. Um This one's very nice. I like this pose. I also like the lighting in there. Maybe we can steal some of that lighting. Uh Nobu in Hong Kong in the park. Nobu in the snow. Also a good pose. Okay. Aria and Nobu, Aria and Nobu. That one's very good. Okay, let's see. It looks very much like him. This one's nice too. I like this light here with the rim light. Okay, we're going to end up... Uh, of course, I like them all, but I'm going to end up with too many. Okay, this one's a very good pose. This is when they first arrived in Canada. Look at this one. Is this not the funniest? Look at it. It looks like he's poking his tongue out at her. He's like... Meh. Like that naughty, naughty big brother or naughty little brother. He's a big brother, but actually I think he's more like a wife. But anyway, let's not go there. This one, pretty nice pose. And this is one of the few photos we have where he wears a jacket. Which, look at that jacket. Is that not so cute? It has a little hood. He hates wearing anything like that, by the way. Um, he goes into like super saddies. Oh, now this is what I got when I searched up Nobu Shiba. And this is actually Roshi B. Uh, Roshi B was somebody else's puppy who uh, saw that we were hiking a lot and having a lot of fun with our dogs out and about in Hong Kong. 
and then we tried to integrate him with our pack but it didn't go so well so he had to find another home um, but that was a sad story but we learned a lot from it you know when there's sad stories if you learn something I think it's very good but it's funny how when I search him up I get Roshi B pictures now this is a great photo too with the fall leaves okay so put that down there I don't know what that was okay last scan here oh there's some watercolor here if you want to go with a watercolor style we've never done that I think we've talked about it before though oh here's some more Roshi B now he was the cutest Sheba um, and it was a bit of a bit of a heart uh, wrencher when we had to try and find him like we couldn't keep him we really loved this dog um, he's like the perfect Sheba specimen look at that face that you that you could find he's like a fluffy teddy bear beautiful fur beautiful big pink tongue always sticking it out always happy but just couldn't you know couldn't get along with our other dogs he was fine with the girl, but the boy, I think we were really worried because uh, when boys don't get along, when you go out, you leave them home together. And you don't know what you're going to find when you get home. So it, we tried our best for, I think it was like six months to integrate him. And it just wasn't getting any better. Uh, and he also started... He also caused some physical injury to us. So I think we actually, by trying to integrate him, it made it a little bit, his problems got a little bit worse. We tried our best, we tried our best. Okay, this one is, oh, hold on. Did we just find the perfect match? Look, that face, this style. Okay, we'll put this one here too. All right, I think we've got number one. Decisions made. I thought that was going to be really hard, actually, because this one, and maybe that's number two. Because we've got a good position for that. I don't know why that helps, but... Uh, yeah, let's give it a go. I'll put this one over here. Put this one over here. Okay, now I, I'm uh, sketching today in Affinity Photo. We're not sponsored or anything, but Affinity Photo is exactly the same as Photoshop, uh, but without the monthly subscription, which breaks your bank account. Uh, same shortcuts even. We're not sponsored, but, you know, give it a look. Affinity dot something. <laughs> That dot something. There should be websites called dot something. All right, we're 15 minutes in. I need to get moving. Okay, so we're going to get over here. No, I'm getting a bit bright. Am I getting a bit bright? That's all right. You don't need to see my face. Okay. No, I'm kidding. Uh, let's get some layers happening. Uh, everything looks pretty norm. Normy. Normy. I like the word normy. That's kind of funny. And normy. So we'll shrink this down, and I think we just need those two to start off with. Okay. Ah, now maybe this is like a similar painting, but in the sun. Okay, so we will have a bit of blue background. Why have I got groups here? What happened there? Did I put group? I did put group. Oh, my shift. That's what it is. I'll just do it up here. Layer, new layer. My shift is a little bit meh on my computer. Let's give ourselves a few. Okay. Somehow my brain just forgot about that. Okay, so let's give ourselves a little box. Now, I think I'm just with that same brush collection, which is like a whole bunch of brushes. Is it, is it highlighted?
That'll do it. We'll see how this goes. Let's back off that saturation a little bit. And we'll get it a bit darker. Okay, we've got to get to cycle layers, no brush size. And let's try a little bit of a flow. Alright, so we're just going to build ourselves a little space. Okay, I need to check my brain against those. Where's my shift? There. I think it might be new music this week. Um, big thanks to uh, what is it? Chill hop, chill hop, or music? You can see it in the in the show notes, I think, or the. All right. Okay, let's go. Should we go square? I'm kind of gonna want to go square. No, we'll keep it a bit longer. All right, now, if you're drawing your pet, uh, you probably need some photos of your pet. Um, all right, there's our background color. Let's go and start putting in a little bit of... Toying with how, oh look at that, looks like it's gone a bit red because of that blue there, eh? He's going to be very orange, so I think, I think I want to, Alright, I'm jumping over to the mixer brush already. Shrink that down a little bit. So we're just going to throw down something for the background here. Now I do kind of like that boardwalk that's going on there. Maybe I should have less sand. And then a bit of a boardwalk in the bottom here. That could work out, eh? Alright, let's give it a go. Under the boardwalk. Boardwalk. Bit of a flashback memory song there. I don't even know who that is. I don't know. Something out under the sun. Under the boardwalk. People walking above. Okay, let's see if we... I like the angle too of those. So let's see if we can... Feels very Toronto boardwalk. Let's get some. Probably a little bit much effort going into the background here, but. Hey, it's okay. We've got. We were good with efforts. Once. If you're. Uh, from Toronto, you probably know about this. There was these foxes. I wonder if they're still there. There was these foxes that started appearing at the boardwalk. Okay. 
And then everybody was going down to visit them because she had mama fox had baby foxes. And they decided it was during COVID because there was no people. So she's like, whoa, look at all this like beach. Nobody's around. Perfect little houses underneath the boardwalk. Okay. Let's try a little bit lighter for some bits. Oh, look, here comes Aria. Aria? No. Okay. Shh, I shouldn't have said that. Oh, it's something in the, the song. Sounds like her nails hitting the floor. That's funny. Yes, it's a shaker. It sounds like when her nails hit the floor. All right, a little bit of a boardwalk there. Let's get some uh, some pattern in this sand a little bit. Don't forget the link is in the chat if you would like to use our reference board. There's a ladybug crawling on my Wacom. Okay, I'm going to use a big blendy wendy. Let's get a big soft brush. Round soft. Can't go wrong with that. Well, you can, but... Oh, I am... Look, I just lost all of that. That's really funny. I keep hearing that noise. That's it there. It's like somebody dropping... a handful of rice on a wooden floor. That's a very specific sound, isn't it? It's probably a rice field shake up like a percussion instrument all right let's get a little bit of stuff going on here a little bit there there it is that's it there okay now, that's a nice background. Let's move on. Layer two. Let's name this before we be BG, BTG today. Bit of a typo. Okay, let's start with. Oh, let's start with the color palette. Hey, I should have put a color palette down already, but uh, you know how it goes. I think I can do this on the same layer. I'll just call it Nobu. I'm actually surprised when I search it up, there wasn't another Shiba called Nobu. Because I thought you know, it's a Japanese, it's spelt a little bit different, I think, in Japanese. Uh, Nobu's, I think, N O R B U, spelt a bit more N O B U, I think, can be Japanese. You can Google up Norbu if you like and find out what it means. It has some Buddhist meaning. And he is my little jewel. Okay, that looks pretty good. So we need a palette. Palette starting with, let's go, how orange do we want to go? Well, it is sun setting, isn't it? I actually could introduce a bit more of that glow in the base there. Okay, let's start with that. And let's go here. No, dark. We'll go down. And we'll get red up oh, as we go down. Thinking about my palette. And then we need sample that one. And then we need something up here. So that's a little bit close to the sand, isn't it? Okay, what if we go redder? OK, 
Okay, we'll put the two beside each other. Yeah, I'm um, no, I think it's got to be yellower actually. Oh yeah, maybe there. Yep. A little bit lighter, I think. We'll go a bit lighter again. Okay, so I've moved over to the yellows. Now that looks pretty grey. Oh, speaking of grey. Let's do this. Go back to here. Get this bit and take this away. Okay, now we do need, we're gonna need something for the collar. Nothing's happening, what's happening? Why, I'm an eraser. Do it all the time. Cause we do it all the time, yeah, yeah. We do it all the time, yeah, yeah. We do it all the time, 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 to time, time, to time, to time, to time, time, to time, time. Hmm. All right, I think we might be okay from here for starters. I think we could have a little bit more. Oh. That's not. Okay, are you? No. What am I? I'm an eraser. Of course it can't select. Did I just erase? No. There we go. So, what if we go a bit yellower here? And give us another saturated yellow. Well, we don't have any nose. Let's get a nose. And an eye. I think that eye can be good there. All right, let's go. So we'll start off with... I want this. So that's back here. Oh, that's very similar, isn't it? Okay. This is going to be good. This is going to be good. Okay. I think we might put this as palette now. We'll move this up and we'll draw here. Put palette on top. All right, little coffee break. 8.30, we are halfway through the live stream. Let's see if we get time for a, an Aria one. Poor girly, always a little bit behind. We call her, it's funny how dogs have like multiple names. Norbu has like a hundred names. So it gets called Wiggy. Um, he gets called Pig, Pig Pig. Uh, Aria gets called Girly. She gets called Sue, Susan. I really like that hard edge that's coming in there.
Oh, here she is. I knew you'd turn up. My little girlies. You want to have a look at the girlies? Girlie, you want to say hello? Come here, good girl. Come on, good girl. You can show everybody a pretty jacket. Look at, she's got a pretty jacket on, this girly one. This is my girly one. And she's saying, who are you talking to, you crazy human? Who are you talking to? That's the microphone, girly. Say hello. Hello. Ro, ro. Ro, ro. Alright, go back downstairs and keep the wiggy company. Alright, so he is also called Wiggy. I don't know if I mentioned that. Because he likes to wiggle his tail. Not super creative with the names there. Do you want the light? I don't know what happened there. I just got a little bit caught up in the brush. Okay, we're definitely making him a bit fat. There we go. Alright, let's see. Alright, it's time to make a mess. Oh, this is kind of looking bad, eh? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It's alright. We're allowed to let it look... It's in its ugly phase. I'm not sure I like this particular colour now. I 
that's a bit better, isn't it? So right, we can do some mixing. And we can have a bit of variety. I think we're going to skip the harness. Where did you go? There you went. Okay. Mm. I forgot I set this up. Dun dun dun. Oh my goodness, what's happening there? Okay. Why aren't you staying there when I pin you? There you go. Brush. Eraser. Yes, good. That bit was really bugging me there. Okay. Bit of 
bit of a wild song. I think I actually made a new color for the dark nose. So let's just add that to our palette. And we'll go back to here. All right. Oh. Simplify a little bit. Okay, so what are we what are we working on next? Let's try and get this eye in. Look, it looks like he has a little eyebrow there. Huh? Okay. Oh, got a bit of confusion right there. Okay, so this needs to move. Not the background though. Somehow I switched layers. Okay. Now let's get this. What? Again?
Interesting. Maybe it doesn't. Maybe this needs to move. Okay, what brush is this? Because this is not turning around. Which I would like it to do. Let's see. Alright, how are we doing? We've got about 10 minutes to go. Oh, we need to step on the gas pedal. How are you guys doing out there? Alright. Come on, brushes. Where are you? Here we go. Chalk. Colorful. Let me try and just add a rotation to this. Direction. Good. Better.
Hä? Ups, ups. Aria today. Aria is also performing in Cirque du Soleil. Um, when she was, when I was outside today, she was practicing her routine, and she climbed up on the couch, and she managed to lean across an, a giant crevice and get her way over to um, where I had a. Uh, storage bin or storage tote full of bread and bakery type things and she chewed the handle off and chewed all the corners of the of the tote she's really a, a special she's a really special food hunter that one Come on. Wonder why it's giving me that <clears throat> that noise. Uh oh. Come on, wheelie wheelie. Alright, that's telling me it's time for a coffee break. Even though we've only got three minutes left. Okay, let's see what we can do here. Three minutes. Step on the gas. I think it's got quite a way to go before it looks nice. I guess we were aiming a little bit high for our one hour time limit, but... No, I think it's just the subject matter caught me up a little bit.
not sure I like that now. I like the bit going across the eye, but I think we need a bit more work on the eye here. All right, so let's see if we can just finish up this little bit on the eye. What is it doing? Oh, you... It's managed a way to switch screens on me with something I'm doing with the keys. So that's pretty weird. I would guess it is a Wacom issue. Mixer brush, sample. All right, let's see if we can. All right, well, we're going to have to call it a day today. Thank you for joining us. I'm going to do a new, another few minutes in, on this one, but I think...
have a feeling it was called Good Brush. Let's try this soft oil. Soft, it's not giving me enough. Yeah, that's better. All right, we're just about going to have to call it a day. Right, we'll just give ourselves three more minutes. Really not happy with the eye. Oh, damn it. That's why that brush wasn't doing well. Somewhere along the line, I switched to palette. Oh, well, that happens. Let's try again. Sometimes I notice colors aren't smudging well with the brush, and then 
All right. It's ten past. We're going to have to leave it there for today. So only one one little painting, but it was fun. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for joining us again. Um, next week we'll have a new topic. If you would like to uh, suggest a topic, please email me. My email's up there. You can also contact us in any of our social media. I hope you have a wonderful week and keep sketching. Have a great week, guys. Signing off. <laughs>